All right, it's time for a hot take. I will not be using Vim9, and I think Vim9 script is a mistake. So this might be a bit shocking. Some people are like, ooh. But let me tell you why I think that. Now, Vim9 script has been going on for a while now. It's been under development for quite some time, and it just recently released. Now, a lot of people are very excited about it. It adds types, which types are fantastic. I love types, but it is a breaking backwards compatibility change to Vim to Vim script. 9 or Vim 9 script, whatever it is. I don't even know the name. So what's my problem with it? Well, my problem isn't that Vim 9 script exists. My problem is that when presented with a problem that can be fixed by devoting days of effort to integrating, say, a better choice for embedded systems, such as Lua, great language choice, by the way, or MicroPython, great language choice. You don't even have to be like NeoVim. You could, you could use MicroPython. Nonetheless, inventing your own language for a bespoke editor experience is almost, it just feels absolutely like the wrong decision to make here. Follow Emacs, follow anything, just don't invent your own. The amount of hours that you have to spend building this, the amount of time that's gonna be taken into the language specs, into the tokenizer, into the parser, into the semantic analyzer, the amount of just bugs that are gonna be just throughout the system for the next decade because of a decision made to write your own language instead of just using something off the shelf is just mind boggling to me. I love Vim. I think it's the greatest text editor of all time, but this is a catastrophic mistake and I truly believe Vim will not be around much longer, meaning that it will not be in the eye of popularity much longer. Instead, NeoVim will become, you know, the thing that is the popular one. It already is more popular, but it's gonna just vastly gain momentum because of this. And the reason being is that while Vim 9 script was being written, tested, still probably not 100%, probably bugs lurking all over the place. NeoVib was able to create an LSP client that is dynamite. They're able to integrate TreeSitter, which offers you an AST inside your editor to be able to write amazing plugins. And it's using a language we can all just Google. It's a simple language. It doesn't have anything very surprising about it. And they built all the APIs for you to be able to integrate with it. And there's a language server that integrates with all this. So you actually get really great updates. So for me, this was just like so painful. Like why? 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 Would you do this? When you are given an opportunity to break backward and you can make a clean start going forward, pick something that's going to be a benefit to everybody. And this is really a good moral lesson, I think, for a lot of us, which, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I've made some bad decisions. I have definitely had a not built here problem before, and I have chosen to build things that I should have just used an off the shelf solution. And the reality is like not all off the shelf solutions are going to you know, 100% meet your needs. But if it meets at 99%, giving back to the community, trying to drive the change for that last percentage is categorically simpler than building it yourself almost always. So yes, I am actually greatly disappointed. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to celebrate the new release of Vim 9 with everybody by absolutely taking a hot take on it. So you're not going to cash me outside using Vim Script 9. Instead, I'm going to be sticking with NeoVim and I have decided that there is no looking back. It's actually one of the reasons why I've decided to go full Lua for my Vim config. I have for the longest time been holding out using Vim Script for a large portion of it because I didn't want to have to break that. And if I wanted to go back to Vim, I kind of wanted that door to be open. But this felt like, you know what, for the last couple years, it seems like the NeoVim team banging on all cylinders. You know, a lot of group consensus, a lot of building things together. Vim, not building things together. It does not, at least it doesn't appear that way. Really seems like one person's decision. Really doesn't seem like it's going in the direction that's going to be beneficial to its user base. Now, I know I'm going to probably lose some subs for having such a hot take. So if you want to help, press that sub button, baby. Oh yeah, come on! And yes, new Vim series coming soon. My name is The Primogen. I hope that you like this. This is actually a retelling of the hot take that I did live on Twitch. So if you like hot takes on engineering based takes, no virtue signaling, probably too many feet jokes and, and talking about MILFs, then join us on Twitch. And of course, all my videos have been recently sponsored by my beautiful wife. She has decided to allow me to have a time in a room screaming, yelling, and typing furiously. So please thank her in the comments below. Give this video a like and show her support.